Hello everyone, it is Thursday, May 25th, and we are on our way to get my first estrogen shot. Um, I'm bringing my sister so that we can... <laughs> so gross. It's okay, you're beautiful the way you are. Come on. Oh, thank you. Okay, so back to me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get my first estrogen shot. I've been waiting for this day since I was born and it is finally coming true. Um, you know, dreams do come true and um, watch out because I'm gonna be a hot bitch. So um, I'm super excited. Um, I will definitely be touching bases with you guys on how I feel and what types of changes I am experiencing and um yeah i decided to go with the shot form so i will have to be going back um every two weeks to get the shot and um this one's the first one so let's do this channel so I just wanted to start off by thanking everybody who subscribed and I just want to say thank you so 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 much I appreciate you so much and I just love that you know you guys are interested in what I have to put out there I am definitely not gonna let y'all down and I will get you guys some good content this is not all gonna be about just me and uh, my transition so don't worry, I will definitely get some good stuff out there. Let me just let everybody know that this is actually a month and a half almost. Just because I have been really crazy busy with my life. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. I definitely have noticed things right away. Wanted to start off by talking about all the um, physical changes that have been occurring in my body. And um, first things first is my skin, I want to say, has definitely softened up. I have this glow about me. I, I have been getting crazy compliments on my skin. I went to the beauty supply and the first thing that the um, girl who is in there all the time says is, wow, your skin is glowing. And I was like, really? And um, I definitely was thrown off just because I didn't do anything different. I mean, it had only been like, I want to say the first week, maybe not even a week yet of being on um, spironolactone and the shot of estradiol. And I would have not never assume that it, these changes would start happening and be being so noticeable right away. I want to say it's almost like um, being pregnant and like when they look kind of glowy, I want to say that that's what it is because I do notice it myself as well, actually. I'm not even wearing highlight and I'm like, look, popping, like, what the fuck. So, um, yeah, I noticed that right away. I'm super excited just because I've never had the best, best skin. I've always dealt with acne and things like that, but I've always been super, um, hygienic and took care of my skin and had, its, you know, all the skin products and whatnot, but definitely skin is number one. That I did not like that happened right away is, and it was the only time it happened as well, but it was the weirdest thing. I woke up one morning and I felt so nauseous and I remember my stomach pains were what woke me up and I just felt like I had something in my throat and I constantly felt like I had to swallow <laughs> because I was constantly um, producing saliva but it was so weird because I had the most like grossed out feeling at the same time and I wanted to puke so bad. I was so lazy to get out of the bed but I was like I have to get to the bathroom or the toilet because I am about to puke myself. So I almost want to say that that's probably what a pregnant girl would feel like if they had morning sickness. I definitely would never want to be pregnant and I am thankful I'm a trans woman and I can't get pregnant. So 
I would never want to experience that ever again because I was so, it was like almost like when you're in a car ride and you just feel nauseous and yeah, no bueno. So that was one thing that I was like, what the fuck, I hope this is not an everyday thing. Um, but yeah, one time and one time only. So um, let's just cross our fingers that that doesn't happen again. Oh, another thing that I noticed right away, I mean, I here and there would get dizzy sometimes, let's say if I didn't drink water or if I haven't eaten and things like that. If I get up too, fa too fast or for whatever reason, sometimes I'll just randomly start getting dizzy, but I get really dizzy and lightheaded um, a lot easier on the medication. I don't know if it's from the medication, I just started noticing that, that I am getting a little bit dizzier and more lightheaded. Oh shit, and I've noticed I've noticed a lot of hair growth decrease. I mean, I've kind of always worn really, really, really tight pants, so a lot of the times um, I feel like my legs were always a lot smoother just because a lot of the times the friction from the pants would probably rub on my skin and um, creating like bald spots throughout my legs. So there, it's really funny, and I would love to show you guys, but this is just kind of not the best position the camera's in. But, um, yeah, I have bald spots throughout my legs, so it looks, like, patchy, and, um, which is kind of nice, because then it just really makes it a lot easier for my legs to, you know, for shading, and hopefully when I get laser hair removal, it won't be as difficult as well, um, which is one thing that I wanted to tell you guys. I have to be on hormones for about six months before I get referred to a, um, laser hair removal person, and my insurance covers only my face, so I will definitely be getting that done as soon as possible. I have heard that it's better to get it before you even go on hormones just because it works better on thicker, dark hair. Um, my hair is slowly but surely getting finer and finer and less and less, so that will probably affect um, the results with the laser. Anyways, let me grab my phone so we can get back to what we was talking about. Let me get to my notes. Okay. Well, actually, I don't even need my phone. I noticed that I was really thirsty, and I was really, 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 um, yeah, thirsty all the time. And, and not that kind of thirsty, girl. You know I do not need a man. <sighs> secretly do. Um, but yes, I have been super, super thirsty lately and have been drinking a lot more water, even though we should be drinking a lot of water. Um, the water is um, life and we definitely need to make sure that we are staying hydrated. I definitely um, have been drinking a lot more water, not only because the medication has been making me a lot thirstier, but just because I feel like it's just a good habit to have. And I definitely want to make sure that I'm getting enough water just because if my skin's looking this good already, I know water has a big part to do with um, the appearance of your skin, so I want to make sure that I'm drinking enough water and staying hydrated, especially because it is summer here and we are in California, and it gets pretty fucking hot. Hence the fan and the hair blowing in the wind. So I noticed like on the third day that I got super, super, super nauseous and I definitely experience like morning sickness I'm sure because it was the worst nauseous feeling ever and I would not wish that upon my worst enemy um actually I probably would this might be a little TMI but I don't care I'm gonna be real I'm gonna put it all out there I'm gonna show you my titties anyways I wanted to talk about erections dicks and all that great stuff so um Yes, um, I have noticed that my erections have been decreasing, and I mean, obviously, if I, like, focus on it, and, like, I, like, really think hard on, like, ooh, what can turn me on, I could get it to work, and it works fine, and it does what it needs to do, and it still does things that, you know, pre-HRT it did, so I just noticed that during the morning time, and just, like, those random erections that, you know, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. You could be just chilling with your friends or, you know, at Starbucks and all of a sudden you just start getting hard. Yeah, it doesn't happen anymore. I definitely um, have noticed that I'm, and to be honest, like, it's kind of nice for me, especially because I do like wearing tighter clothes um, and things like that. And sometimes when you are tucking, which is already painful to begin with, and then you start getting a boner, like, 
that is just like a no. It's like you're trying to, you know, lift your thumb up when your fists close, you know? It's like, a, it's hard, you know? It's like, literally, it's hard. So, um, yeah, um, erections and penis, yes, not as functioning. Um, I'm, I'm kind of glad, and, um, also they, um, let us know that our testicles are going to be, um, well, your whole genitalia is actually going to start shrinking, and that's also really awesome, because then it's going to make tucking so much easier, which is going to make it less painful, which is going to make me look way better in clothes. Um, I feel like tucking is one of those things that I've been doing for so, 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 so long. I did it before I even transitioned, and I, um, when I was gay, I obviously, um, didn't really think much of it, and I would just do it, like, subconsciously, or just because for me, like, aesthetically, I found it more ple appeasing, and I found it to look better in clothes. Another thing, um, I've been looking at a lot of pictures of even just a month before, and I've noticed, um, that my muscle built is so much different. I, I, I mean, one of the, um, side effects are fat redistribution, which I haven't really noticed too, 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 too much, but I have definitely noticed my muscle decrease. I feel like everything has looked and, you know, is a lot softer looking. I'm sorry. I'm, like, trying to do all of this. But, yes, I feel like my, like, even in here, like, in here is where I notice it a lot. In my arms, I notice it a lot. Like, they definitely look a lot softer, not so, like, muscly defined. Do you see how my arm jiggled when I did that? I totally saw my arm jiggle. Look at, oh my god, my arms never jiggled. Um, yeah, but that is one of the things that I've noticed is my muscle has definitely, like, decreased. People are saying that I look thinner, but I don't think it's so much that I look thinner. I probably just look less, less, I have less muscle tone. Ooh, we didn't even talk about the most important one, which is these. So, these have not really grown too, too, too much. I want to just show everybody. So, I mean, my nipples are, like, definitely a lot more sensitive. They are constantly hard. So, I definitely noticed that, like I said, my nipples are definitely, um, a lot more sensitive. They are definitely changing and getting a tad bit bigger. My nipples were, like, seriously so tiny. Like, they were, like, little dime-sized nipples. That has been, like, one of the main things that has really been changing in that department. Um, I will definitely be showing, um, every time. I definitely have noticed, um, um, some breast growth, and I mean, that's probably where a lot of my fat, I didn't have too much fat to begin with. I want to say I had, like, less than 10% body fat when the last time I got, um, not measured, or, I don't know, when they do that shit. Anyways, last time I had, like, 10%, like, around that, like, very little, um, or a lot less than women typically tend to have a lot more fat naturally, so I feel like my body is just trying to really, um, produce it and put it where it needs to be. Um, I definitely have noticed my hunger and, um, my energy has, well, my hunger has gone up and my energy has gone down, which is not a good thing, but I definitely have always been pretty active and have always tried to stay, you know, healthy and fit and being vegan, it's pretty easy and I feel like it's really hard to really eat too much, to be honest, just because a lot of it is plant-based and, um, yeah, I actually find it to be, um, not hard to, like, I don't get weird cravings or anything like that. I mean, I've always kind of been, like, um, a fat bitch and I randomly will like want some Oreos and ice cream and um, peanut butter and things like that is typically what I'm going for right now. Um, I've noticed that these things are typically high in fat. Um, I know bread, I mean, is it not necessarily, um, I don't know if it's um, high in fat, but I know it's high in carbs, and I think carbs turn into sugar, which sugar turns to fat. I am not a nutritionist, don't quote me on that. But I have noticed I've been eating a lot of bread and, like, ice cream and things like that. I'm not letting myself have the over excessive amount of it. I feel like I am pretty, you know, 
um, so I have a lot of self-control and I feel like I've always had issues with weight and my body so I feel like I have a pretty good hang of you know my diet so um, yes I feel like I should not be gaining any weight and I hope I don't I've been definitely trying to stay fit and healthy and so now let's talk about the mental changes First, straight off the bat, I have noticed that I am a lot more in touch with my feelings. And not to say that I wasn't before, I just feel like it was a lot easier to ignore them and to just not pay attention to them for whatever reason. I almost was thinking so far into it the other day to where I was like, maybe it's because, you know, boys are taught to not feel emotions and to not, you know, boys don't cry and this and that. And I mean... I feel like sometimes it's almost like that they were programmed to feel that way so because they identify as boys they find that maybe they can't get in touch with that for me I feel like also because I am turning into a female maybe my subconscious is triggering something to make me feel more emotional just because maybe that's what we were taught I don't know I was just thinking, maybe I was high, who knows, but I do feel myself a lot more in touch with myself, a lot more, I don't know, just emotional. Uh, I definitely, I noticed just like the beginning of this month, like I have been so much more, and it's for the dumbest reasons, it's not even anything serious. Like the other day I was like watching a video where this gay boy was coming out to the mom and the mom was so okay with it and she, and, and he was like making it such a big deal and he, um, I felt bad for him, not because he was gay obviously, but because he felt bad and he was ashamed and almost felt... I don't know it was just so sad and I just started tearing up and this isn't like it's not like I just start you know and when I say emotional it's not like I just start bawling out of nowhere or I go from zero to a hundred or I'm bipolar or anything like that I just feel like throughout your day throughout you know I don't know, whatever's going on in that moment, you just definitely have more of a connection with everything going on, and it definitely has been a lot more, I don't know, I feel a lot more alive, that's for sure. I feel like because I do feel more, I feel like I can be more aware of what I'm doing as well, so if I, you know feel sad or feel angry or feel this, I feel it so I know and I'm aware and I'm conscious and I know to, you know, okay, I might be overreacting or this and that, you know. Sometimes I feel like I focus too far into the feeling that I it, it consumes me, but I definitely feel like I've been feeling my emotions a lot more. I, um... I mean, I've always kind of been sensitive. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this is something that I've always wanted myself. I wanted to feel a lot more alive. I wanted to feel these emotions. I want to, you know, feel like a human. And I feel like before, I felt so robotic. I felt so... I just felt like I could not really express myself. And now I feel like it's just so easy to just be myself and express myself. A lot of people tend to um, experience on this medication. For me, I have i don't really notice too many mental changes, to be honest, besides, like I said, I do feel that I am a lot more in, in touch and aware of these emotions, which makes it a little bit easier to control these emotions. So I don't want to say that I have felt something crazy mentally. I feel like I've always had the brain of a woman. I definitely feel like I have always thought more so in a logical sense maybe. I feel like men are a lot more, um, I don't know. 
I don't even know what they're like because I don't know what that's like. <laughs> but um, yeah, I definitely notice I cry randomly in my car and my eyes will get watery and it's usually when I think about my family or, you know, things like that. Sometimes I just get emotional because I just think about how far I've come as a person and um, where I am heading towards and just how happy I am right now and just to think that this is all, you know, gonna be just a memory eventually and I will be who I was meant to be and it just really feels like a dream to be honest and I am so thankful that you guys are here on my journey and that you guys get to experience this with me and share the, these really precious moments with me because this seriously means so so much to me <sighs> yeah I'm just so excited and can't wait to you know see what it's gonna be like in a co even just a couple months because if I'm already noticing these awesome amazing changes then I am you know just so ecstatic to see what the future has so yeah I just wanted to you know fill you guys in with what's been going on in the past month and less than two weeks um but yes I will get um your second update video out as soon as I can I definitely um feel like this shot that I just got like one or two days ago is definitely going to give me a little bit more um, results um, as far as maybe more physical stuff, maybe more mental stuff. I mean, I will definitely make sure that I am videotaping and recording and really keeping track of everything that I feel and that I've been noticing just because I feel that that would be the easiest way to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything because I know that there is a lot of things that have been going on with myself that I might not have touched on that I might have forgot but definitely I feel like I got all the main stuff I don't really feel like I said that I felt any mental changes I feel like a lot of physical things have been happening um, um, mentally as well but just maybe just not as noticeable just because I do feel like I've always kind of had this mentality and I don't know maybe it's just like I said, these uh, gender roles that we have put on ourselves and thinking that this is how we have to be or act and I don't like that. Alrighty everybody, so that is it for today. I definitely feel like I have been going through a lot of changes this past month, like I said, but I'm still super excited to see what these months have in hold or in store. I want to go shopping super excited to keep updating you guys with any little changes that I have, you know, experience, and I will definitely be, um, posting on social media, so if you guys want to follow me on that, but, um, yeah, go ahead and follow me on social media, I will definitely keep you guys posted on everyday, daily stuff, um, I also post a lot of my fashion and my hair stuff on there, so if you guys are interested in that as well, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you guys have any ideas or any, you know, suggestions for new videos, then definitely um, comment and let me know just because I do, you know, definitely am open to talking about anything and I really want to know what you guys are curious about, um, whether it be about me or being transgender. Um, I definitely want to, you know, um, make this um, as fun as possible and keep you guys entertained and um, interested. So don't forget to um, subscribe so that you can get notifications of when I post my next videos. Um, I should be coming out with another video in about another two weeks because like I said, I was a little bit late with this um, hormone update, but I will definitely try to get them on time and um, yeah. Have a great day. I love you all and uh, thank you so much for all the love and the support. Besos.